Hi guys, it's Tina, my homesteading project, and as you can see, well, I don't know how well you can see, we'll put it in the sun here. As you can see, we had our first predator last night. Uh, this is the mama duck that was sitting on eggs. Um, her head is missing, and she's been ripped open. And this is what I found when I went to the coop this morning. So I'll show you how the little critter got in. It's, this is, you know, part of life here on the farm, but this is the first time we've ever had a problem with predators. Although there are, like, I, I've seen a fox once. We hear uh, coyotes in the distance from time to time. Most of our predators are like owls and hawks. Um, and this coop has been up for, I'm going to say, over a year. And we've never had any problem. But um, obviously now we're going to have to tighten things up a little bit. So I'll show you the coop. This, let me see if you can see it. This right here, if you can see this hole, girls, get back. If you can see this hole and the dirt here, this is where, girls, please get back. Where the little varmint got in. All right, hold on, I gotta get the goats out. Out, no, come on, no. Come on, puppy, come on, come on, come on. Out, out, sweet pea, out. No. Oh my goodness, see? These girls, no. Oh shoot. Out. <sighs> I love them, but they follow me everywhere and they get in the way sometimes. Stay out. I mean it, you know better. Anyway, so this is where, this is where whatever it was dug its way in. Now I'll show you all right, it's gonna get dark. See how the door doesn't go all the way up to this board? That's where the thing dug in. And as I said, we haven't had any trouble with it up till now, but obviously it's a problem now. Now that whatever it is knows that there's food here, it will be back. Girls, get back. So I'm gonna have to rework. I might have to move the door to this other side and cut it shorter so that we can take up that gap. Um, as far as the eggs, if you guys are wondering about the hatch, she did hatch out one chick, um, one chick in here and it looked like, but it got smothered. With the two ducks in here, it got smothered. And um, kind of felt around in here if there was, and it looked like uh, one of the eggs was getting ready to hatch and the other one would have been short, shortly behind it. If you can remember, I let them lay in here for a couple days um, to build up the egg clutch. So some of them were uh, younger and so the other two were getting ready to hatch. There is no sign of them now. Um, I think whatever, since it was the mama duck, girls, get out! Since it was the mama duck that I think she was trying to protect, I was gone all day yesterday, so I don't know if anything hatched yesterday, um, but since it was the mama duck that was killed, I think she came out of the nest to protect her clutch or her babies, either way, and whatever it was, they're gone now. So... This is going to be obviously my project for today to button up this uh, barn and I'll show that to you uh, when I figure out what my solution is going to be. So it's really a bummer, it really ticks me off, but uh, what can you do? So I'll show you whatever it is I come up with when I come up with it. So we'll talk to you a little bit later. Um, that's all for now. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've thought about it and here's my plan. 
since my supports on the inside that attaches to this this uh, board right here and it goes in ties into this one here okay so what I'm gonna do and so the door is closer on this side than it is on this side so the distance here is roughly now these are logs they're all just a little bit different but roughly it's about three inches at the widest point and then a little shy of three inches some other places so what I'm gonna do is I found a board over here that I think will work and I'm gonna take the door off and then I'm gonna bump this out another three inches so that should give me a nice flush closing right there and then I'll have to run another board on uh, here so that the door will be tight all the way around then I'll fill that in um, and see if that works um, this ground is so hard I'm really surprised they were even able to dig here um, well there was a little bit of a divot there to begin with but um, the ground is so hard here I don't know if I'm gonna dig down and try to put some kind of fencing there or not I don't know I can't really put anything up high because the doors the ducks come in and out this door so but that's what I'm gonna try to do so I've got you know my saw and my bolts and my and my screw gun and and um, we're gonna try that and see how that works so I'll show you when I get it done okay okay so this is what we came up with I brought this oh my goodness the Sun okay so here's where here's where it ended before and I added another three inch piece right here to bump this out so the door goes flush against the wall so we've got that there and then we doubled up another piece here and then this is a two by six off of one of our free pallets that we've got down here to take up the rest of the space on the outside underneath the door um, and we're just going to attach that with screws I haven't done that yet and there's my helper Eric you can't even see him it's so dark in there okay so when I close it now this is all flush straight across and I've got just very very I mean maybe half an inch space under the door there and then all this sticks out on the outside so I'll show you the inside I'm sorry it goes from dark to light so now there's just a little bit of light coming underneath because of that half inch crack but the door goes flush pretty much all the way up it's a little wider right here but there's not really much I can do about it um, so hopefully that should take care of it um, if not, I don't know. We'll have to go from there and and see what happens next. But hopefully, if he's going to dig under here, I had to kind of level out that spot right there. There was a chunk of grass. But he'll have a long way to go before he could get underneath all of that. Um, so hopefully that will protect the ducks. Um, if not, we'll come up with... A, go for another solution but for now hopefully that will help so hopefully that helps somebody out there um, when you're dealing with predators and the goats want to get in here because they know the ducks have grain in here <laughs> but hopefully that helps somebody out if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down in the comments and as you know remember like and subscribe and share and yep. and we'll talk to you guys later and remember God is good we'll talk to you later